we hope that this image um, brings that um, goodness, brings that grace. A new mural sits in place of broken windows outside of the Wingluck Asian History Museum. Museum leaders and dignitaries unveiled it today to remind the community there is no place for hate in the city. FCN race reporter Sharon Yu was at the unveiling. She joins us now in studio with a closer look at what's underway between local artists and the museum. Sharon? Well, Greg Joyce, they could have left the broken windows boarded up with just plain boards, but museum officials turned to local artists to make something beautiful out of such a painful reminder. Just four months ago, a man shouting anti-Asian hate took a sledgehammer to the windows of the Wing Luke, leaving the community shattered too. On the outside of the Wing Luke Museum, Scars in the form of boards feature heavily in Canton Alley in the heart of the Chinatown International District. <laughs> On the inside, <laughs> there's joy in the form of a bird <laughs> soon to take flight over the plywood. It also just feels strong, like it's just a big bird like across the whole thing. Instead of finding words to the hate crime that shattered windows. It's on, on the leg. Artists Shay Takabayashi Daly and Sammy are putting paint to panel. They say their deep connections to the CID compelled them to do something for the grieving community. This painting to me is a symbol to always remember what we're saying yes to when we say no to racism. It's like not repressing those emotions for the community or for ourselves. It's a way of processing it. On September 14th, while people mingled inside the Wing Luke Museum, surveillance video captured a man outside the building using a sledgehammer to smash the windows. He was shouting anti-Asian hate. The violent rant caused tens of thousands of dollars in damage to this historic building that's considered the heart and soul of the CID. I could tell it was getting louder. It was very methodical. And last month, we sat down with employees who have been traumatized by the hate crime. It just felt like not only an attack on the building, but a personal attack and an attack on an entire race. We want to make sure that we take good care of our team. Wing Luke's executive director, Joel Barakiel Tan, says recovery takes time. We're not naive to the fact that this is happening more and more to the world, but we are not going to stop celebrating ourselves and our joy. A brightly painted bird, a bold sign to the community, reminding them healing is a work in progress. I think the attack um, felt very personal. And the response was also heartfelt and personal. As we know, often beauty comes after chaos. And in that beauty was the community. The young artists were tapped because they were a part of the youth talent discovery program at the Wing Luke and also because they have ties to the CID. They said that they grew up going to the CID regularly and say it means a lot to them that they can help heal their community.